because of causing their parents and have no respect for their parents. And some of them, they go on drugs. They go seeking for the answer, but the honest answer in hope is in Jesus, Jesus. Christ. Amen, amen. Mothers, I encourage you, as the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, mm -hmm. very familiar passage. Yes, yes, yes. Where the word says, mothers, that you ought to trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. Mm -hmm. But in all your ways, acknowledge God and he will direct your path. Yes, he's a director. Mothers, the situation that you are faced with, sometimes life may seem so difficult with all kinds of catastrophes and disasters that may occur in the mother's path. But mothers, you don't have to sell your body to make a living to make ends meet. God will provide whatever you need this afternoon, mothers. I encourage you, mothers in Radio Land, to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Sometimes a home without a father is broken. Sometimes the father go astray. And the fathers, they go astray and they leave the burdens upon the mother, mm -hmm. on the wives. And in the home, the father figure is to be strong in the home. Because... A home without a father, it is a broken home. Sometimes the mothers have to take the initiative upon themselves to combat the wilds of life. Amen and amen. Mothers, you are roses. You are special. You are royal. You are princess. You are queens in the army of God. Amen and amen. So I encourage you, you mothers, when tough times manifested in your lives, and you are going through so much of pains and struggles, and you don't know this afternoon who to turn to with your problems that you are faced with. I'm encouraging you to a God who's all powerful. I'm encouraging you to the master, the maker, the sustainer, the creator, the restorer of your salvation. Amen. You don't have to call a pastor every minute, mothers, when you're going through tough times to come and pray with you or to encourage you. David himself encouraged himself in the Lord. That's right. And this afternoon, mothers, you will have to encourage yourself in, in the name. Lord. Amen. And you got to know God for yourself. For yourself. That's right. <laughs> and even when your cupboard ain't having no food, your bank book might not have uh, no money, mothers. Mm. You might not have no job. Mm -hmm. The situations may seem so drastic. Jesus. And you don't know who to turn to for the next answer. But remember that God is Jehovah Jireh. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes. He, he will help you in the times of trouble. He's your provider. Yes, he is. He is. Hallelujah. So you need to put your trust and your confidence and your hope in God amen. Almighty. Amen. Yes, the struggles of life sometimes, they are so painful and we are hot in so many areas. Mm -hmm. But God knows every situation. Yes. God knows us from beginning to, end. to ending. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. God knows us before we even came into existence. That's right. God knows the next second, the next moment, the next minute, mm -hmm. the next day, the next hour, the next years, the next months, the next struggles. God knows your struggles. Yeah, you know everything. And you don't have to worry about nothing. Because the psalmist David said in the book of Psalms 37 and 25. Tell me, tell me. Amen and amen. 
The psalmist David said, I was, I was old. I was young, now I'm yet old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsake it. Now he seed begging bread. Amen. Mother's God will provide everything oh, yes. that you need this oh, afternoon. God. Praise God. The pastor cannot help you because he's just a man mm -hmm. and he need help himself. That's right. <laughs> we got to learn to trust the master. The maker, the creator, we got to learn to put our hope and our confidence in God. Amen. That's right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes our husband might not be bringing in money enough to meet our needs, or he may spend any money on rum, alcohol, whatever, extra, whatever. Mm -hmm. And you there are in pain. Mm -hmm. But it's a word that calls prayer. Amen. The Bible says that when the praises goes up, Tell me, brother. <laughs> Are you with me this afternoon? I'm with you all the way. When the praises goes up, the then the blessings down. they come down. Praise God. We gotta learn how to trust God in every situation. Yes, that is so true. Mm -hmm. Never circumstances mm -hmm. because God will recompense us all according to our works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If He provide for the sparrows that toil it not. In the lilies that bloom, how much more will he create it for his children? Oh, praise God. Mothers, you are too beautiful to stress out yourself on situations that you cannot handle right. in your own capacity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got to learn to stay focused and keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the God of your salvation. Amen. Amen. Mothers, you are beautiful. You are the roses of the garden. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mothers, you are beautiful in the eyesight of God. That's right. You don't have to degrade yourself or uh, no. load on your standard no, for anything. Not you not can not. rise above the storms of life yes. with your head up, looking up to the strong tower. Yes. From yes. the strong tower. The Bible says that the name That's of the Lord is a strong, strong, strong tower. Amen. The righteous, they run in and they are saved. Amen. Amen and amen. Jesus. Look at the fowl when she have her chickens. Mm -hmm. How the chickens go under the, the mother and the fowl and she covered her chickens with her wings. And just so you beautiful mothers cover, covered your children. And some of us today, we don't have a mother to say happy Mother's Day. So true. But God is in control. Yes, he is. Sometimes we don't show our mother no respect. We don't show our mothers no love at all. And we don't spend time with our mothers and sit down and talk about the old time days. Uh, all the good times we used to have. You just caught up in the casinos and in the rum bars. Ain't looking for, for that answer in Jesus Christ, but caught up in the rum bars. And when your mother died, then you're there in the cemetery, bawling down the place saying, Oh, I love my mother, Lord, my mother gone. But remember when your mother was alive, you did not spend that time of appreciation and love with your mother. But now she departed and you miss your mother. Too late. <laughs> and you miss your mother. Oh, Jesus. I'm saying today, mm. radio listeners in Ready Land Overseas, Wherever you are this afternoon, mm -hmm. we need to cherish our mothers. That's right. Amen. Amen. We Sometimes we put our bank book before our mothers mm -hmm. and feel that we big, we don't need our mothers. Mm -hmm. of course, okay. Sometimes we put our husband before. You put your husband before your mothers. But this afternoon, I'm encouraging you. Mothers, don't put your husband first. Put God first. Yes. Because God is in control. Yeah, he is. He is. Amen and amen. And sometimes the pains of life, mm -hmm. they comes knocking on all of us doors. All of us. Hmm. Tough times don't last. But tough people do. But tough people do. Amen. Mothers are encouraging you mm -hmm. to uh, be strong, to enjoy hardness. As a good soldier of the cross of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Mother, sometimes you have two, three, four, five, six children, and you have to hustle two and three jobs mm. to meet ends meet. Mm. But I'm encouraging you this afternoon. Be dear for your children in the yes. times of trouble because yes. that mothers are your responsibility. Yes. You don't have to commit abortion because it is sin. And God don't love sin. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life to Jesus Christ. We have to learn to love. Because love covered a multitude of sin. And there's no boundary to God's love. Mothers be strong. Be courageous. Be bold. Stand up when you have to stand up for your rights. Yes sir. Amen and amen and amen. Be headstrong. Don't leave the storms and the cares and of this life get you down, mothers. Rise above the circumstances. And learn how to pray, mothers, that God will bless you. Yes, sir. In every aspect of your lives. Father, thank you, Lord. That God will give you wonderful mothers the grace to go on. It ain't easy when you have to uh, be dear for your children have to cook, have to wash, and have to make sure everything in place. God will bless your hands. When you're doing everything, mothers, do it unto God. Amen. As a good mother, as a strong mother. Mm, do it unto the Lord. There was two mothers in the Bible. Mm -hmm. One overlaid on her child, and the child died. Yeah, go ahead, brother, go ahead. And the other mother, and she said, she took the mother, the child from the next mother and said that this is my child. Mm -hmm. But King Solomon, oh, the, wisdom man. <laughs> the wisdom man who had all wisdom, yes, right. there was a big dispute mm -hmm. among these two mothers, a yes. big quarreling yes. of who the child for. And Solomon said, bring the child. Mm -hmm. and drew his sword and said, I will cut it in half. Yes, sir. Give you mother one half and you mother the next half. Mm -hmm. The mother who was not for the child said, kill the child. Mm -hmm. And give she half and give me half. Wicked. Solomon with his wisdom, knowledge and understanding said, the one who showed compassion, who said, let her have the child, the child belongs to she. Yes, sir. I'm saying today that we need to respect each other mm -hmm. mothers you also need to respect your children the Bible says parents provoke not your children to wrath you have to respect your children and your children respect you yes. amen if you don't show your child love and appreciation and you're cussing him out calling him all kinds of names calling him a gangster calling him a vagabond calling him a no good eventually that child will grow up thinking that he's a vagabond mm -hmm. or that he's no good mm -hmm. and next thing he will get hooked and crack he will get hooked on marijuana he get hooked on dope he will get hooked on the alcohol and he will be all their gang fighting and getting in trouble because words they are powerful yeah words are powerful yes the bible says the power of life and death is in the tongue, in the tongue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you have to be very careful how you speak Speak words over your children. Yes. Amen and amen. You have to show love in order to get love. Yeah. Amen. And some mothers, sometimes mothers, they feel how like to give up sometimes because of the pressures. Mm -hmm. Because of the pain. Yes. Because of the difficult moments. Mm -hmm. They feel like they give up, like no one to help them. Sometimes the neighbors turn against them. Hmm. Sometimes they run into all kinds of sources for life, for help. But this afternoon, you mothers who are weary and who are burdened this afternoon hmm. and who are feeling dismay in themselves, Jesus. who are fearful in their cells and who are timid about the perils of life mm, in these perilous times mm -hmm. and the mothers who feel 
like there is no hope. There is hope. Who feel in themselves that they are nobody. They somebody too. God loves you regardless yeah. to the circumstances. Yeah, regardless of what you have done in the past. God is in control and God loves you with an everlasting love. And if you feel so stressed out this afternoon, depressed and fearful, the Bible says that God did not give us the spirit of fear, but the power of love and of a sung mind. Amen. This afternoon, you don't have to fear the storms of life. Fear God, fear God. and keep his commandments. He said in the book of Matthew chapter 11, 28, 29, and 30, he said, Come unto me. This is what he's saying this afternoon. Come. I am the door. Come. I am the great physician. Come. I am your healer. Come. I am your deliverer. Come. I am your problem bearer. Come. I'm the fountain of living water. Come. I'm the bread of life. Come. Come unto me, all ye that are labored and are heavy laden. And I, he said, and I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I'm meek and lonely in heart, and you, mothers, will find rest unto your souls. Yeah, there is rest in Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. You can lean on the everlasting hands yes, of God. The Bible says, mothers, in the book of Jeremiah 23 and verse 3, he said, if you're called on me in the times of trouble, I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things that thou knowest not of. I'm so glad that God is love. Amen. And God is a God of mercy. Yes, he is. Long suffering. Yes. A God of compassion. Thank you, Jesus. A God who cares for his people. Mm -hmm. A God who will never leave us nor forsake us. In the times of difficulties, in the times of predicaments, God will sustain you. God will restore you. God will give you hope and comfort even in your midnight hours. Sometimes in the night, you feel so perplexed and troubled with all these pains in the night. And you were weeping in the night and you were crying in the night time. You can't even go to sleep sometimes because of the pressures of life. Uh, but the Bible says that weeping may enjoy for a night, but in your morning there comes joy. Amen. Joy is in the presence of the Lord. The Bible says in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy, and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. God is the door of your mother's salvation. Mothers, you are roses this afternoon. You are the beautiful roses that shines in the garden. You are the sunshine of your family. You are the sunshine in your home. You are the moonlight that glows in your home. Amen and amen. And a praying home is a strong home. Yes, yes. A broken home without prayer the devil will attack that home, dismantle that home, red bottom that home. But when people, when mothers can come together as a family and learn how to pray and bind the forces of darkness, bind the combats of this world, you will have a productive home. Because when you learn to pray to God, whatever situations you are faced with this afternoon, mothers, in closing, Whatever situation you are faced with, you don't have to leave the storms and the pressures of life get you down. Because there's one who cares for you. Jesus. Except the Lord build the house, the labor in vain that build it. God will never give you more than what you can bear. Mothers, you are too beautiful to stress out yourself with problems and to take things up in your own hand. Learn how to trust God. Learn how to look to God. Because the Bible says in closing in Psalms, 10, Psalms 119, Psalm 119, 105. The Bible says the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Mothers, you are roses in your homes. And God loves you. So don't leave the devil try to fool you because he's the father of lies. He is. 
and he, when he speaks, he speaks, he speaks a lie, mm -hmm. and the truth yes. is not in him, mm -hmm. and he deceived himself. Mm -hmm. He was a loser from the beginning, mm -hmm. and he will be a loser to the ending. So don't leave the adversary dismantle your home and laugh at you. Stay focused, stay in the things of God, yes. and you will have a blessed, blessed home. God will see you true because God loves you with an unconditional love. Mothers, you are roses. Amen. God bless you all. Praise God. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Brother James. Indeed, that was powerful, powerful and mothers indeed are very special. And um, we always say that with the mothers that it doesn't matter how far your children go, it doesn't matter what they do and how they conduct themselves, but there is no other love compares to a mother love. Motherly love is that agape love that you're looking for. And as I say, it doesn't matter how far you go as a child and it doesn't matter how misbehave you misbehave, but that mother would never forget that nine months you have been conceived in a womb and carrying you through with, with bad backs and sweating and can't even climb the hills properly and their feet being swelled for nine months. And sometimes a lot of complica um, complication based on bringing forth a child and having to breastfeed the child for a period of some years. And going through all that with the child. Sometimes the father's on the field and go, there is no love compared to a mother love. So show your mother some love. Show somebody mother some love. Give them a hug and, and kiss them by the, by the cheek. And, and tell them that how much you love them. It not necessarily has to be your mother. But it's a mother. Sometimes this, this lady, this woman is just waiting for you to hug her. And, and to, to make her feel important. And today you hear the word from the minister, Minister Brooks. And it was a powerful word indeed. And we thank you in spite of little troubleshooting today in studios, but we thank God to bring us this far. And we come to a conclusion of this program. And indeed, it was a privilege to be your company here this afternoon on a Mother's Day. And it's on Cool FM, the cool people, the cool song, the cool vibes. And we come to a conclusion of this other episode of this other program on Cool FM, Source of the Gospel. And uh, we will see you again next Sunday, if God's willing. We'll be on set from Comments at 3 and Conclude at 4. And at this time, we apologize for not bringing any program this afternoon for um, difficulties beyond our control. And we, we, we said to you, have a wonderful um, and enjoy the rest of your evening. And we pray that you would have a wonderful week in the Lord. And do not forget that the only gateway to heaven or to the Father is Jesus Christ. Because you cannot go through God like a thief. You must trust for Jesus Christ. And as we go to, as we uh, conclude this program, we say have a pleasant good afternoon and enjoy the rest of Mother's Day. Susan, it is I, your God. I am ready to begin.